I think one of the most important things you need to know is you need to know the difference between a calling and a burden. Uh, a burden will always get you somewhere, but a calling will keep you. And so what I would say to somebody who is wanting to, they feel God's calling them, whether it's here to the States as, an, as a missionary, a, a stateside missionary, or um, overseas missionary, is to, is to visit where they feel God's calling them. To go spend some time. And if they feel like they can't leave and they have to stay there, it's probably a calling. But if they can come back and then say, hey, I enjoyed the trip, but eh, it wasn't for me, it probably was just a burden. Make sure that it's the Lord and uh, not because someone has told you or because you got stirred by a, a missionary but, uh, and, and God may use that. But then make sure that God, uh, that it's a God thing because you will confront many situations on this mission field that if you are not sure it's not God, uh, you can be uh, quickly mind changed to leave. Make sure it's God more than anything else. Make sure it's not emotion. Make sure it's not just someone else pushing you. Make sure it's the Lord, and I think most people would know. And the other thing that I would say is talk with other missionaries. I, uh, I didn't have a clue when I first started doing the, the things that we had to do. And as I started going around a little bit talking with other missionaries, they kind of helped me in the process. I had no idea what we had to do in the process of doing it. And uh, they helped me immensely. So get up and get together with some other missionaries if it's possible and help them to, or have them mentor you or help you through the process. And, uh, and just make sure it's God. I mean, that's the most important thing. It's basically about your relationship with the Lord and that you need to surround yourself in prayer and the Word of God. And there's nothing that you can learn in the textbook from other people that you can't get by your reliance on the Lord. I wish that maybe I had spent a lot more time on my knees as opposed to preparing for going into the field. Well, I would say that in missionary service, you could have a nervous breakdown if you're not called. You might have one if you are called, but <laughs> if you're not called, stay home, you know. And I don't believe people that don't do it before in their own country can do it anywhere else. You have to do it where you are, college, school, whatever. It starts at home. Starts at the door. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> make sure your wife's on board with you. <laughs> Don't let anything stand in your way because the world's going to try to distract you every way possible. Oh, amen. Um, I. The first thing I would suggest, and, and this is a principle I've had to share with a lot of people over the years because people have asked me, you know, how am I going to know what God's will is? I've always found God's will to lead in a positive direction. It's, uh, it's simple to say, you know, the devil will do all he can to prevent you from doing uh, the right thing. God will at times prevent you from doing the wrong thing. So how do you know when obstacles and problems are actually uh, a part of being in, you know, going in the wrong direction and, and uh, where you need to get back on your knees and seek the Lord's will. And I usually say, look, God, God is bigger than your confusion. If you're struggling with it, wrestling with it, you're not sure, what does this mean? Why am I having so many problems that this is what God wants me to do? Just remember that God is big enough to carry you through that process. If you're running into all kinds of obstacles and setbacks, and it's just aggravating you and beating you down and all, you've got to believe that that's the enemy because that's what he likes to do. God will sometimes stop you in your tracks or, or change your direction because somehow you might have missed the detail in his will, but just remember, he's a loving God and he has a task to, that he's trying to accomplish and certainly trying to accomplish it as quickly as possible. And it's God's efficiency that I've always depended on. Um, if, if something is not going right, uh, I, I tend to be just tenacious about it and say, all right, if there's a stone in the way, I'll plow around it. And uh, that's what's kept us going for 23 years.